So today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Kingston HyperX Blue Memory. Now I'm going to zoom in and see if you notice anything strange about the name of this memory. Well, it's the fact that all of their memory is blue. So this is just more blue memory, you would think. But no, I actually have the press release up on my screen and depending just how HD my HD is, you might be able to read it. But Kingston HyperX Blue Memory modules have a new look. So I'll show you the new look once we get the box open. They run at standard JDEC speeds and timings, but the big benefit is that they have lots of overclocking headroom for enthusiasts. So it's kind of like what AMD is doing with their Black Edition chips, where they're purposely running it at a conservative setting in order to give you more room to overclock them, to really find the limits of them. So let's get the blue 4 gig kit open here. This is a dual channel kit, and it's available in 6400 DDR2. 1333 DDR3 as well as 1600 DDR3. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. So it looks a little bit different from their standard heat spreader. First of all, you've got more of the chrome accents. So right here, it says DDR3 now, where it used to not say anything. And you still have your shiny pink sticker, which I am a big fan of. I'll turn it around. So this is a 240 pin standard dual sided memory module and you can see on this side, you know, it's funny because I was looking at it in the box and I was like, oh, well, how is it HyperX blue? It doesn't say blue anywhere on it. It doesn't say blue on the package. It doesn't say blue on the RAM, but now I found it. It says HyperX blue on the back. So that's just uh, silk screened on there. And then you've got another DDR3 here. So the actual heat spreader is just plain blue in the background, you've got your chroma on the outside, DDR3 just like that, and then they actually are just putting stickers and silkscreen on to get the two different sides. So that's a pretty good cost saving measure if you ask me. So like I said, two modules, these are all about the overclocking headroom, so what I'm going to be doing in the next little bit is I did a big Core i5, or rather Core i7 875K, so Intel's new unlock chip, I did a big overclocking guide on that, and the whole point of that guide was now we can overclock the CPUs as far as we want without actually stressing the RAM. So I'm going to grab that same test platform and I'm going to take a bit of a different approach and I'm going to see how far we can stress the RAM without stressing the CPU since I have both up and down multiplier adjustments as well as being able to play around with the turbo mode. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Kingston 4GB DDR3 HyperX Blue RAM.